Here we have a 2012 on a 12 registration Volvo B9R Catano Levante 70 seat PSVAR compliant coach. Vehicle is operated by RJ Coaches down in Ashford, Kent. Customer that's bought off us, but we've never sold anything for them before, so this is the first. Levantes are an interesting beach. You either love them, you hate them, or you accept that you've got a need for one. Um, this one, offside, is fine. Nothing to worry about. Alloy wheels fitted. I noticed Rick clips are fitted to the wheels, which is a National Express sort of standard. Basically, probably the best wheel nut security that's on the market at the moment under the bonnet we have a Euro 5 9 litre Volvo engine that'll knock out 380 horsepower and it's driven through Volvo's 12 speed I shift automated gearbox near side straight again no issues What I will say about the Levante, love it or hate it, I think probably barring a Plaxton Panther, there's nothing better to convert to 70 seats. Um, in fact, it has advantages over a Panther, and I'll run through them for you. First, because it, NASA Express vehicles traditionally have rear toilets, you've got uninterrupted luggage space. Masses of it. So you've got a school residential, a PGL or a Kingswood or whatever, and you've 70 kids with bags. You should, if you're, you know, any good at the Krypton factor, you should get them in. Okay, so luggage, and you'll notice we've got power operated lockers. Luggage is tick number one. The second thing for me, right, it's a 70 seater, so it's a school coach. Right, and I know we've got exemptions and, and, and deferrals and everything else, but whether you like it or not, PSVR compliance is coming, one way or another. It's not going away. So you've already got your LED destinations, you've got your Magic Floor wheelchair lift, so that's that box ticked. And the winner with having the lift in the step, it doesn't take up luggage space. So... We'll jump on board. 70 seats, 68 of them, I would say a prime. But there's a few things I like about this layout. One, they've kept the magic seat. So if you took that out and put another double prime in, you would have to have two doubles on quick release, so you'd lose four seats to get the wheelchair in. Because these are the original National Express Magic seats, they tip up and swivel and you only lose the two seats, so you're 68 plus a wheelchair, despite what it says on the plate behind my head. So that's winner number one. Other good thing with that, it's factory fitted. So if there's ever, God forbid, any accident issue, nobody can come and say, well, obviously, the conversion was the problem because that was fitted at the factory. It's Catano's problem. I think that, again, is another tick. The other thing I like is how they've done three rows of doubles here before we get into that bit. And you'll notice it's hard to sort of gauge it unless I go behind. Let's see if I can do it here. If you look, if you look at that back double against the triple, the seats are wider. So what they've done, they've put... Because there's nothing worse on these 70 seats. They're great for kids, but they're horrible for adults. So the teachers and, and, and the assistants and everything else, they've got, plus the magic seat, it's also got idle shut down. Counting the magic seat, there's four doubles for adults. Let's fire it up again.
Can't work without aircon today. <sighs> Sorry. So, another plus. Flat floor, another plus. Means that if you've got one that's not converted, it's easy to convert. Lots of pluses, but you have to know what you're looking for. I think this maquette, it's a Sigma maquette, is perfect for 70 seaters because it's neutral because it's dark it's serviceable but it's just got that little bit of a pattern in it to lift it and with a Levante you tend to have unless it's like a, one of the early ones you tend to have these very neutral grey curtains so it all fits neutral racks neutral roof neutral headlining neutral sidewalls it's the perfect maquette for this vehicle so well thought out big tick it's one that when we're doing 70 seater conversions i tend to choose because it's not too dull with having that little bit of a beigeical and flecking we've got sutrak air conditioning system that's working perfect with this morning we're wired for dvd with one monitor we're also wired for cctv it's got everything you need for the job it's been converted for and in fairness as ex National Express Levantes go it's from what I can see without going underneath it it's one of the better examples the downside with any form of National Express vehicle it's going to have done a few miles right this one's done a million three hundred and seventy thousand kilometers which isn't quite a million miles point that out for you um, now is that a good thing is that a bad thing high mileage is never the best thing however most of it will be motorway mileage cruising speed it's not round the town so you're not getting wear and tear on clutch gearbox etc and having worked for a National Express supplier I can hands-on say there is probably no stricter maintenance regime I've ever come across in my life. And the goalposts are moved on a weekly basis, let me tell you. Okay. Those are roadside inspectors, don't bother me in the slightest. National Express roadside inspectors scare the crap out of me. That's how thorough they are. Which means that, high mileage or not, National Express vehicles have generally been maintained within an inch of their lives. That's the good point. Everything's where it should be in the cockpit. Just one set of buttons to worry about. Everything's just there. Great thing about having a wide entrance door, you've got loads of elbow room for the driver. So if you've got long legs, it's no problem. So, all in all, if you want to tick all the boxes, and the only box you're not ticking on this one, and a lot of you won't need it, is Euro 6. And in fairness, less than 20 grand and it can be Euro 6 you know B9 Volvo was one of the first conversion kits he brought out so to recap it's a 2012 on a 12 Volvo B9R Catano Levante 70 seat PSVAR compliant coach